Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, last year, September 10th, 2023, Reno Odinga made some claims that we took it so lightly as Kenyans. And his claim was on response to what Ruto had referred to as subsidized fertilizer, whereby he said, I have moved the price from 6000 to 2500 but the fertilizer was given free from Russia. But there was something Raina Odinga revealed to Kenyans. That Ruto got 34,000 tons of fertilizer from Russia. Then what did he do to that? He did not give this fertilizer to Kenyans the way it was. His administration decided to go and add 60,000 6,000 tons of soil to that fertilizer. Then they mixed and they handed over to Kenyans as subsidized fertilizer. So because of that, he gave fake fertilizer to Kenya. He literally gave soil in the name of fertilizer to Kenyans at a cost of 2,500. That was Raila Mono Dinka. Kutoka Singa Lufusita kwa gunia sasa imekuja lufu mbili na miatano hiyo mbolea wamepewa bure na sirikali ya urusi wagamanye kwa wakulima bure alafu anakuja anauza kwa zenga lufu mbili na miatano hiyo lufu mbili na miatano naenda wapi nani na uji wamepewa bure tani na lufu tasini na nene wakawangaza mchanga ni nani yake imefika sasa lufu mbili na miatano Alafu anakuja hapa na sema sasa balea nimerudisha bei chini. Unasikia hiyo? Si anakudanganya? Upuzi kabisa hiyo. Now, why am I bringing that video this time on this point line? As of late I have seen people sharing videos on social media exposing how specific individuals are selling soil to Kenyans in the name of organic fertilizer and above all it's like there is a connection with the government because they are using NCPB stores they even get a receipt from NCPB that's where they store and that's where they do the distribution of the soil in the name of organic fertilizer even uh, some uh, of our viewers send me direct. I have like three videos. I'm going to share them here. So you look at that syndicate. Then really you wonder, do we really have a government? Or what is going on? So going by what Raila Odinga said and what the media has exposed from their investigation. I'm telling you. If this is true then we don't have a country. We don't have a government. Our economy is lost. And recovering from this is going to be a huge problem. Remember Ruto told us that for the economy to recover and to make basic commodities affordable, he will go into the farm. For a, a subsidized production. Then everything will be sorted. You look on how they are subsidizing. Raw Soil. Ata sasa ya wajatanganya na mbolea makitu yote. Then they get it to the market. Then it's in part one, part two, part three. And it is continuing. Ilitua niende mizigo pale kariandusi. Pale kwa factory ya diatomite. Kariandusi. A sleepy settlement located in Nakuru County, about 120 kilometers from Nairobi and about 7.5 kilometers from Gilgil Town. Also a famous prehistoric site, one of the main economic activities here is the mining of diatomite. But in this blue structure, tucked safely between bushland and grassland, something else is cooking and this man, whom we will call Bob, can no longer keep silent. Ile conscience yangu inanembia si vizuri kufanya biashara kama hii. Lakini ni vizuri niliifanya ndio niambie ulimwengu kwamba kuna biashara inafanywa ambayo si halali. 
When Bob received a call about a transport job available at this facility in Kariandusi, he accepted it without question. Nilitiwa tu kazi na rafiki yangu kwamba kuna kazi imetokea. Kama niko available, na lozi zangu ziende zipakie mzigo nizipeleke. Nikienda sikuambiwa ni nini. Niliambiwa tu ni mzigo na nitapoa maagizo. Na nilipoangalia ilikuwa ni mbolea. Nikapakiwa na lori zangu zikawa tayari kwenda. Although Bob thought he had hit the jackpot, he quickly realized that it was a venture he could not bear with a clear conscience. Ilikuwa inachimbwa. Ilikuwa inachimbwa kwenye mchanga pahali tambarare kichakani. Acha niseme hivyo. Ilikuwa inachimbwa, inawekwa kwenye gunia, inashonwa, kisha inawekwa kwa lori. Bob's claims seemed stranger than fiction. Could there be people willing to pass soil off as fertilizer for profit in the middle of one of Kenya's worst droughts? To confirm his claims, our crew member went undercover to this facility belonging to African Diatomite Industries Limited, posing as a worker. True to Bob's word, what we got on film was disturbing. The site is a hive of activity. These men are carrying what appears to be bags of earth scooped from this pit. Next to them is a weighing scale and a pile of bags waiting to be picked. Meanwhile, preparation for another batch of product is ongoing at this other corner. Ina kaka majivu, ni mchanga, inachimbwa tu chini, ni kama majivu. Inapitishwa kwa kichungi kama ile mchanga ya kupiga plaster. Alafu inapimwa hapo na mashini kwa hapo ya kushona. Na unaambiwa zile magunia utabeba. very coded. We only dealt with a phone call from Nairobi. Hata wakati umekea mafuta, unaenda kwa petrol station, wewe unatuma till number. Within 5 minutes umekea mafuta. Within 2 minutes pesa inaingia. Unawekea mafuta, unaenda. Bob says he witnessed this secret activity for several weeks where with about 14 other drivers, he would transport the product packed in 25 kilogram bags and branded as GPC an all purpose organic fertilizer suitable for farming. Tulikuwa tunaingia saa tatu mpaka saa nane saa tisa hivi. Bado tunapakiwa kwa sababu lori ni nyingi zilikuwa zinapakiwa kwa siku. Zaidi ya lori kumi, kumi na tano hivi kwa siku. Na kila lori inabeba tani kumi ama karibu tani kumi. Destination was NCPB. All of them NCPB was a destination kwa sababu nilikuwa napewa receipt specific ya NCPB. NCPB or the National Cereals and Produce Board was a parastatal charged with the distribution of subsidized fertilizer across the country that these bags of earth were being taken to the NCPB stores further strengthened claims that they weren't being sold directly to the market but under the subsidy program. La kustajabisha ni kwamba hata kwa hizo stores hao wenye huu mzigo walikuwa na staff wao lakini hii product ilikuwa inakuwa controlled na area manager analipa na paybill na area manager aki approve anapatia delivery na anaenda kwa hivyo ni jambo ilikuwa guarded kabisa some of the counties where bob recalls the fertilizer was delivered include bomet kisi homa bay nandi wasingishu and siaya kuna wengine walikuwa wanaenda muranga Embu, semu zingine za ukambani. His suspicions further buttressed by the special emphasis on this particular product at one of the NCPB stores. Cha kushangaza ni kwamba kulikuwa na fertilizer zingine. Zile tuko na uzoefu nazo. Lakini hazikuwa zinapewa priority kwa wenye walikuwa wananunua. Walikuwa wananunua hii gushi ambayo nilikuwa ninaona iko na dosari. Ndio ilikuwa inapewa priority. For over a year, 
Africa Uncensored has been investigating the circulation of GPC, a product purported to be subsidized organic fertilizer. We followed the distribution trail to confirm our whistleblower's claims that the product is being sold at NCPB stores across the country. In Meru, we were directed to pay for the product at the cashier's office before collecting it at one of the stores. We specifically chose the package that resembles the ones we captured in our secret filming at Kariandusi, even though the product is now sold in a new package. This choice is crucial in ensuring that we maintain the integrity and authenticity of our findings. We also bought the fertilizer at NCPB stores in Sagana, Kirinyaga County in central Kenya, Tala in eastern Kenya, and Eldoret in Wasingishu County in Kenya's Rift Valley. A 25-kilogram bag of the fertilizer goes for 1,700 shillings. Back to the question, is what was being passed off as fertilizer actually organic fertilizer? Now, definitely there are two things or three that these people are doing to our economy. Because number one, when you bring fake fertilizer, it means there's no harvest. And if we don't harvest, what does that one mean? Above all, you have sold the sand to us. It means you got money by selling just sand. No product in terms of fertilizer. It's just sand. Soil. So you made money. You took our money. It's robbery. Then now, no harvest. At the end of the day, we have standard growth of crops. Again, it opens a window to these crooks to go and start the importation business. Because we do not harvest. So they still continue to do their business. Because they have sabotaged the farmer by robbing them of their money in exchange for soil. Then again, because they do not harvest, we have to import food. So they cannot even sell their produce because they don't harvest anything. But for them, they are making money. Tell me, will we have a food security country? This is a problem. This issue also happened in uh, Zambia, whereby we have specific individuals who are selling fake fertilizer. And then if you go and look at the harvest, the farmers were crying. Now it is happening here in Kenya. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Uh, we are here at the warehouse. This is what is happening here. The fertilizer that we got from there, Chwempara, is coming from here. The mixing is being done here. We're with our colleagues. As you can see here, this is how they mix. This is how they do it. We don't know what we can call it. I'm saying that is there's what? What channel there is what? D and what? D Nashi Nashi. D Nashi. D Nashi. We are not we are not here to joke, my friend. D Nash. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. We don't want to disturb anybody. As you can see, there's a stock. There's a lot inside there. A lot. We're just waiting for the DC and uh, Dow to come here, to come and advise. They say the mixer. I say what? Mixer Chilandashan. There's a D. D. Raimu. Raimu. Nayuria. Nayuria. Of which, when they mix the three components, as they mix the three components, they're saying, they're saying that they're coming up with a decomp a decompound. 
after adding D, urea, and other things. Three things, and then they say decompose. So I'm confused. I do not understand what they're trying to make here.